Hi, my name is Jonathan and I live here in the UK. I, I am part of a church here in the East End of London and I mobilize many people for prayer across the UK. I used to be a Muslim, a very good one, devout Muslim. I come from a Muslim family and I can tell you that the Lord Jesus, who has become my savior and my friend, came into my life at a very interesting time when I was in medical school. I was seeking God. I was praying to Allah every day. I was asking him to speak to me and I never got any answers. I used to pray so fervently for God to speak to me and I had this inquiry with my friends and neighbors and um, my mom um, imams. I just went everywhere asking people, why doesn't Allah speak to, to me? And um, I got into medical school and I ran into this lovely group of people who began to talk to me about the fact that God speaks to them and Jesus is their savior. We used to have these lovely debates and they would invite me to their prayer meetings until one fateful day I walked into one of their prayer meetings, which was from midnight to the following morning. And as I walk into this church, um, God begins to speak to me. And I said to him, I said, why? I just knew it was God. Someone may say, why do you know it was God? I just knew it was God. And he says to me, receive Jesus, receive my son, Jesus, um, who has died for you. And I said, why does it take me coming to a church for you to speak to me? And that morning, early morning into the, um, into the early hours of the morning, I received the Lord into my heart as my Lord and Savior. And this wonderful peace came over me. And I went to bed late that morning, maybe around seven or uh, thereabout in the morning. And I slept off. And my friends came to wake me up an hour or two later because the hostel we were in, our, our hostel, was, was got out in fire. The whole of the bottom floor was full of fire. And I couldn't, we couldn't run downstairs. We couldn't go anywhere. So we ran onto the top of the roof. And I was look, we were looking for some way to escape this ferocious fire. And the next rooftop was about 20, 30 feet away. And um, this voice I had heard in church uh, two hours or so later, earlier, um, said to me, jump. And I said, I can't jump. And he said, with so much authority, I said, jump. And so I run and I jump. And I land on the other side. If you've ever watched Neo in the Matrix, that was how I did it. And I look back at my friends and they couldn't jump. And the voice says, pray for your friends. So I kneel down to pray for my friends. And I wake up. It's a dream. I'm looking around. Where's the fire? Where's the smoke? And this voice says to me, you've escaped from the fire. You can now do what you could not do before. Pray for your family and your friends to escape from the fire. And I knew instantly that the fire represented hell. I knew instantly that the gap between the buildings represented the supernatural saving grace of, G of God, because there's no way as, as a human being I could have done that, and that I was supposed to pray for my friends and my family to become saved, to become Christians. And I began to do that. And I want to say to you watching, you may be a Muslim, you may be from some other faith, I want to say to you that Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for you and I, and his sins have washed away all of us, all of our, his, his, his sacrifice, I say, has washed away all of our sins. And I want to encourage you to receive Jesus. He can be your friend, and he can save you from death to life. If you receive him, he will be your friend as well, just as he has been speaking to me all these years. And by the way, my family, my mom, my dad, they all became Christians over a period of 17 to 18 years. So God can do that too, for you too. God bless you.